it's Nathan X back, and we're back with Map Up of Opera 2 again. As you can see, I've still got my little penguins going up and down, up and down, parachuting, walking around. But what we're going to do, we're going to sort of store some stuff in Map Up Opera 2. Now, I've downloaded some themes, and I've downloaded some programs that I might want to use. The main one being would be Skype. And Firefox 3.6, just in case you didn't like Opera. But then if you didn't like Opera, you wouldn't actually download this version of Mac Pop, would you? Or would you? So I'll click on the Skype static. We click OK. And then we wait and we wait for a little bit. And wait and wait and watch our penguins. And wait and wait. As you can see, it's doing stuff. There you go. It's been installed. Now we click OK. Like this. Now this is a long bit. Now the problem here, you have to wait about... 20 seconds for it to actually finish doing what it's got to do. So in the meantime, you've got me talking to you, watching penguins come down to the bottom of the screen, waiting for things to do. But basically all this is doing is putting it in the menu, making it all usable and getting ready. And since that little orange bar goes away, we can go and do stuff, basically. But in the meantime, we watch our penguins. Ah, it's gone. Thank God for that. So what we're going to do, we're going to close the old file manager down. There we go. We're going to click here. And we're going to go to Applications, and we're going to go to Internet, and there we go down the bottom, and there is Skype. So we'll click on Skype, let's see if it's installed OK. Of course it is. Like you have to accept the agreement, if you've used Skype before, you know the deal, hardcore, you know the score. You put in your Skype name, you put in your Skype password, and you're basically ready to go. I'm not sure if video cams work on this version, but hey, give it a try, you never know. So that's the first one, isn't it? So we'll open our file manager once more. And as you can see, I've got Thunderbird 3 there as well, which is very, very good. That's the one that goes into space, isn't it? Remember? But not that one, no. So I've <laughs> also got Firefox there, as I showed you before. And my two themes. Lovely, he says. So I'm going to open up another file manager. Then I'm going to move it down there, move it down there. And my other part that I've got open, I'm going to click on the I, so it gets nice and big. Click on E, which is the Enlightenment section. E again. And there you'll see a little folder for themes. I'm going to open that. And this is where we want to put our themes that we've downloaded from the Enlightenment web page. Just drag them over, put them in the box. There you go. Click move, so that takes it out of that and into that. We'll do the same with the other one. So we'll take it out of that, let go, move, and we're done. As you can see, they've both gone from the other box. So we'll close both of them down. And then we'll go down to Settings, and Themes, and then you can see our other themes we've just downloaded, and the ones that was already there in the first place. Really, really good. I like it. There's that one. We'll open that. Or we'll open that. We'll, that. So we'll do the wood grey one first, because that's quite a nice one. Click OK. There we go. That looks rather nice. And as I've still got my penguins turned on, here they come. It's floating down. I'm not sure it's going to die this time. Who knows? Yeah, but that's a nice little background, nice little bar, it changes all the colours, as you can see, because it's a theme, so it's not just a desktop background, as they say. It looks good to me, I like it. Anyway, we'll go back up here, we'll go back down to settings, down to, yeah, yeah, modules, we'll go down modules again. I'm going to take out my penguins, basically. I've got bored of them now, that's why. And they're gone, they're gone completely. It's a nice, clean desktop. No add-ons, no extras. Bearing in mind there's other little things there like flame and rain, really, really good. But I'm going to go back down to themes. I'm going to open our other theme that I got for you. Click OK. There we go. Now, I rather like this one. It's reminiscent of one of the old ones that John and Pritt used to use in the older Mac Pups and Mac Pup Foxes, etc. Very, very nice indeed. I like that. Nice and dark, so to say. So, back to our file manager. What are we going to do now? So we'll install a Firefox 3.6. So we click on it once, click on OK to install. Again, we wait a little while again, we wait a little while again, wait, wait, it's installed. So it comes along again, we click OK, bar flashes up. Oh, that was nice and quick. I'm sure that worked, I said to myself. So what we'll do, we'll make sure if it works, shall we? So we go down to applications again, we go down to internet. And there's our Firefox web browser 3.6, ready to rock and roll, in theory. Now you can import all your stuff from Netscape and Opera if you want to, but we're not going to bother doing that. We're just going to click Next and don't import anything. 
and there we have it Firefox 3.6 so you can have both if you want to if you like Opera it's fine if you don't you can always go to this one there's also Sea Monkey and many many others as you will know so we'll go we'll go to, we'll go to the map page I think <clears throat> so we'll put map up in there we'll go to the map up page click on there on our link lovely there we are looks good to me make it a bigger screen look even better even better so it's available to download now lots and lots of people already downloaded it been lots of views on the video of the original one so we're going to have a look at that while we're here we'll click to watch <coughs> bearing in mind flash is already installed for us and there we go watching the video of the video very 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 good so you can have as many brands as you like and you do whatever you want to it's entirely up to you remember we're Linux you do what you want it's your choice this is the whole point of it you have got to answer to nobody really at the end of the day so I'm getting to the end of the video now and I really wanted to install Thunderbird 3 for you but I'm going to have to leave that to another time I'm afraid because it's got some really really new cool features that I really wanted to show you but hey never mind we'll do that next time so we'll go back to settings we're going to change the theme back to the original one the MacPup one the MacPup Opera 2 theme should I say click OK and there we are back to normal I like it sneaky Linux out I'll see you very soon. See you later.